V10 A Bronco was a light twin engined attack and reconnaissance aircraft developed in the early 1960s for the American forces. Its performance was legendary, not just its short field attributes, but also its low level maneuverability. Find out more about this remarkable aircraft right here on Gary's Stuff. Hello there, I'm Gary, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Today is the context video for the kit of the week, that kit being the Rockwell OV-10-8 Bronco in 172nd scale from ICM. So I'll be having a look at the history of the Bronco and it's quite an interesting history. And I'll be having a look at what other kits of the Bronco are already available on the market. If you are thinking about buying one of these and want to know what's in the box, then there's already a box opening video available on my channel. And if you've got one, you would have been pretty sharp off the mark because they're only just going into stores now. But if you do, and you want to know how to put it together, then there is a build video imminently approaching the channel. How will you know when it's up there? The simple thing to do is to make sure you subscribe to the channel. You hit that bell and you'll be notified of all my future videos as they arrive on the channel. And of course, anything you see of mine that you like, please do remember, give it the imperial thumbs up on the like button below because every like counts. And if you'd like to offer a bit more concrete support, you can do that through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member or by using any of my online partner programs. And finally, I should say a very large thank you to ICM for sending me this kit. It's a free sample. I must point out I'm not being paid for any particular opinions on that. They just send me the kit and say, give us your opinion. The opinion you see on this channel is honest and mine alone. Let's make a start then and look at the history of the OV-10 Bronco. North American OV-10 Bronco was the result of a discussion between two US Marine officers. Realising the need for close air support and the increasing obsolescence of the Cessna 01 Bird Dog and O2 Skymasters, they came up with some specifications for a small two-crew aircraft capable of operating from very rough terrain and flying at very slow to medium speeds. The idea was taken up in 1963 with a specification for the US Navy, Air Force and Army. This called for a twin-engined aircraft capable of operating from rough strips, runways and aircraft carriers, carry at least 1,100 kilos of cargo, six troops or two stretchers, be capable of aerobatics at plus 8 to minus 3 Gs and carry a variety of weapons. North American put in their bid as the NA-300. Ten other companies also submitted concepts. An early contender was the Convair Model 48 Charger. However, the NA-300 won the trials and was ordered as the YOV-10 Bronco. The small light aircraft of the original concept grew and grew. The first concept had a span of just 6 metres. As a prototype this had grown to 9 and by the time it entered service, the OV-10 spans 12 metres. The weight had likewise grown due to the needs of equipment such as ejection seats and radios. The OV-10 has exceptional short field performance and is suited to forward operating bases. It is faster and has greater range than helicopters, but also has better manoeuvrability and endurance than fast jets. It's most at home working with infantry, providing fire support or by marking targets for strike aircraft using white phosphorus rockets. It made a name for itself during the Vietnam War starting in 1968, engaging the enemy often just a few metres away from friendly forces. The OV-10 went on to serve in the US Marines as late as Operation Desert Storm in 1991, including carrying Special Forces operatives. Several aircraft were converted to the OV-10D variant with an extended nose and thermal imaging and targeting equipment. However, 
by this time the aircraft was becoming increasingly vulnerable to enemy missiles and was retired from military service in 1995. Some aircraft were acquired and operated by federal agencies such as NASA for research and the California Department of Forestry as a firefighting command aircraft. Variants of the OV-10 saw service in the forces of Colombia, Germany, Indonesia, Morocco, the Philippines, Thailand and Venezuela. Of the 360 aircraft built, around 30 Broncos still survive in museums around the world with a handful still in airworthy condition. This kit from ICM is a new tooling released in 2023. There are already plans for release of the later OV-1D aircraft very soon. The first kit available in 172nd scale was the Hasegawa release of 1968. This was sold by Hasegawa in the 70s, 80s and 90s, including in the later OV-10D variant. This tooling was also marketed by AMT and by Frog in 1969, and by Minicraft and Hales in the 1970s. FX released their kit of the Bronco in 172nd scale in 1969. This went through the usual set of re-releases in the following years, although the 1983 box featured the more recent OV-10D version. In 1984, MPC took this base kit and added a belly 20mm cannon turret as the YOV-10 Night Observation Gunship Prototype. In 1970, Revel released a new tool kit of the Bronco in 172nd scale. An interesting re-release of this is the OV-10B Bronco in German colours from 1983. The most recent release was in 1996 with an aircraft in Desert Storm colours. The Academy 172nd scale kit of the Bronco dates from a new tooling of 1999 with a late model OV-10D kit in 2002. The most recent release of this was in 2019. The kit has also been marketed under the Modelist brand in the early 2000s and under the Revel brand from 2018. On to other scales now, and Kitty Hawk created a kit of the late model OV-10D in 132nd scale in 2014, releasing it as the earlier A and C models in 2015. Hawk released its first kit of the Bronco in 1966 in 148 scale. It was re-released as a fully chromed kit in the following year, then as a regular kit again in 1969. The kit went on to be sold under the Testers brand in 1972 and in 1988, by Italeria in 1979 and by Kematic in 2010. ICM's own 148th scale Bronco first appeared in 2021 in the A model, followed later that year with the D plus model. They were also sold in late US Marine Corps and in US Navy colors in 2022, and in airfield sets with crew figures, plus either a Cessna Spymaster or a Bell AH-1G Cobra helicopter. Trident Miniatures released this resin kit in the Curious 187th scale in 2010, and Hornet Mini Wings created this resin kit in 1 144th scale in the early 2000s. There we have it then. There's a reasonable amount of choice in kits and the aircraft is quite astonishing. It's quite the legend, actually. Um, very, very manoeuvrable. In astonishing aer aerodynamics to get really short field performance, huge amounts of flaps and flaps that act as ailerons, flapperons and all the rest of it. Um, and a really uh, chunky undercarriage, cleverly designed to absorb amazing amounts of shock. Really interesting aircraft. Um, I hope you found the video interesting anyway. If you did, please do remember, give the Imperial thumbs up on the like button below. And if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos as they turn up, including the build video for this very kit. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again very soon. Take care now, and goodbye.